Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We just defeated Victor and Victoria, and now we're going further into Central Command, so let's not waste any time. I think I am not muted. Camera's on. Video game playing. Let's get it. Hail, Nessian children of man. Who's there? A petulant daughter's act of rebellion against the father who neglected her. What? The naive Vestal's sense of justice as dictated by others, unquestioned as it is unflinching. <gasps> An orphaned existence, ignorant of himself and alone in this world. <laughs> has playing as the trusty friend filled your hollow soul, boy? Not but children, all of you. What? I am done here. I leave the rest to you, Alternus Dim. Who the heck is that? Your cooperation is much appreciated. Cooperation? No. It is simply a matter of friendly concern. My interest lies in the Templar's... the Grand Marshal's daughter. You may cast the remaining three into the dungeon, if you so wish. Yes, my lord. The two newest members of the Council of Six have perished at the hands of the Vestal. Tis such a pity. I never had the chance to meet them. <clears throat> so Victor and Victoria have met their end? Yes, Lord Marshal. A tragic end to tragic lives. Indeed. But the Vestal and your fellow conspirators have been captured. Though the toll was heavy. We have them, at last. Well done, Altinus. Well done. No, this was not my doing. It was his. Who is that? I see. There was one more matter, Lord Marshal. Your daughter, Idea, is in her room. And? I simply thought you'd wish to know. Is this my room? Where is everybody? Okay, so Adia is now the only one in the party. Make sure I'm in the game here. Okay, can I look at my stats and everything? Okay. I don't think there's anything in the room to actually check out, unless I can grab things from these chests here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. No, leave us. I simply wish to speak with my daughter. Now go. F Father. You never learned to knock first, no matter how many times I asked. It seems like ages. What have you done with my friends? Where have you taken them? Your fellow conspirators are held in the dungeon. The dungeon? I'd feared that. So they yet live? As for the Wind Vestal... Ah, yes. What will you do with her? You'll bring ruin upon Eternia if you harm a hair on her head! You speak of ruin. 
It is you and your conspirators who nearly brought ruin upon this land. Crystallism is a cult, a tool for deceiving the masses. We can trust them with the crystals no longer. The Wind Vestal shall never again see the light of day. And should she persist with her uncooperative attitude... Then it's as I feared. You'll have her executed, though she was merely caught in a web spun of your selfish ideals. Selfish, you say? Well, they are, aren't they? You send big men to chase down and capture one little girl? You wage war far and wide? You ravage nature? You bring suffering upon innocence! Are those your ideals, father? What is it you're trying to do? I don't understand! I just don't understand. I did not raise you to be such a shallow little fool! Father, why do you say such things? The Earth Crystal is now the last of the crystals here upon Luxon Dark to retain its normal state. All who seek to awaken the crystal, whether the Vestal or my own flesh and blood, shall face the wrath of my blade! <sighs> you shall remain here whilst you regain your senses. And just how long am I to be your prisoner? Until you realize the error of your ways! Okay. Redouble the guard. My daughter poses a graver threat than you might think. I'll probably still take it's on four. I feared. Father does not understand. Against, I can take on whatever guard they have. Who is that? Is my question. Lord DeRoso, your grace, what brings you here? It has been 15 years since you last ventured forth. 15, you say? It brings me joy to see what a fine Grand Marshal you have become. Oh, it's a vampire. For an immortal such as I, 15 years seems but a fleeting moment in time. Do you recall that day? It was dreadfully cold by your reckoning, though just the sort of weather in which I delight. Upon ceding the head counselor's seat to you, I retired to my castle and partook of a goblet of steaming wine. And now 15 years have passed since you rid yourself of me by naming me Archduke. But I ask you, are you content? You seized the Earth Crystal and laid waste to the places sacred to the Orthodoxy. And you brought the crystals under the dominion of man, exploiting them to build your ideal society. All great deeds we failed to accomplish, you should be proud. I did it not for pride. I would have you accept my words as true, for there is no veiled reproach therein. Indeed, you have acted most valiantly, unlike we who have long done naught but watch from the shadows. And yet, you have been too hasty, brave the Templar. I fear I do not share your urgency, for my life has spanned 2,400 years. But I understand the reasoning therein, and it is from such understanding that I say you have been too hasty. Though 15 years have passed, you have changed not one bit. However, if I might respond, <sighs> Father.
father just doesn't understand. Right. Already. It's quite a way to the dungeon, but I'll manage. So we're going alone with Adia to the dungeon? <sighs> oh, secret passageway. Oh yeah, she dug a hole in the... You just saw it right there. Forget me, Lord Marshal. Is Idea here with you? No, she is not. She was supposed to be confined to her chambers. Yes, Lord Marshal, she was. But she suddenly disappeared. What's this? We're not the sentries vigilant? They claim never to have stepped from their post. Her chamber door was never opened. Then how could she have? Ah, her father's daughter indeed. She acts from the same sentiments. Those sentiments that you once held for the crystal orthodoxy. How could you know that? Have you not been away from this land these 15 years? Was it not you who drove me to exile? Well, be that as it may. But to one such as I, you and your daughter are one and the same. Passionate, stubborn, not even a hundred years old. So it is I can understand what both father and daughter are thinking. Simply by watching. You ought to try speaking with her. And listening, too. Your time for such opportunities grows short. Crystallism. Anti-crystallism. The quarrel between you and your daughter is but a proxy for that clash of ideas. Open your heart before it is too late. The very future of this world hangs in the balance. You truly have not changed, have you? Is that so? Well, you must forgive me. But lest you forget, it was you who appointed me Archduke. Okay. <clears throat> Into the dungeon we go. I know the dungeon key is around here somewhere. Now to free everyone. Okay, do we get to walk? Party chat. Four birds in a cage. Is it just chatting to myself? Ganyas, Adia, ring a bell. Are you alright? Fit as a fiddle. I am unharmed as well. Oh, rude, what's that big idea leaving me out? Oh, sorry. Wait, Adia isn't here. Wait, where is she then? Think about it. This is her home. She has friends here, family. Right about now, she... You can't think this was all a trap. Adia is not the sort of person to commit such a deception. I will not believe it. She's right. Me neither. And me least of all. I'm saying she's in more danger than all of us. We're only enemies of the state. What, Adia isn't? With her, it's personal. She betrayed them, Tiz. People here must bear a grudge against her. So you suspect she's being subjected to an especially cruel punishment? Ring a bell. Your journal. What does it say? Anything about getting out of here? I'll have a look. Mm, no luck. I suppose even miraculous tomes have their limits. Then, let's send Aria as a scout. What? Aria as a what now? You can pass between these bars. Please, go and have a look around the area. Nice thinking, Anya. She may be able to track down the cell keys. But what if someone sees me? Do you think I can just muscle through you all? Do you see any muscle on me at all? If we remain here, we'll get no closer to the Earth Crystal. Or to Adia, at least if she's being held here in the dungeon or not. Okay, fine. You want me to go? I'll go. Wouldn't want Adia harmed. Not that anyone cares what happens to me. Thank you, Ari. I shall be praying to my pendant for your safe return. I expect I'll need it. Anyway, here goes nothing. Shh, wait, I hear something. Eek! What do I do? Someone's coming. I've got to hide. Gotta hide. What's with all the noise? I could hear you guys from outside. That voice. Adia. Sorry to keep you waiting. I found the keys to this place. 
I'm just glad to see you're safe. Okay, is there enemies in here? Looks like there is enemies, but it looks like we only got one of them, so we could probably just, um... Furaga them to death here. Ooh, put me to sleep. Don't put me to sleep. Yeah, just, as long as they don't put me to sleep, we're good, really. Okay. Yeah, let's not... Let's... Okay. Let's get Adia or Anyas out here. Anyas, are you alright? I am. Now that you're here, Adia, I'm glad to see you're safe and sound, too. Me? Well, the Eternian forces do view you as a traitor to your homeland. I feared they'd have some unspeakable punishment awaiting you. You needn't worry about that. <laughs> My father is not so draconian as that. And yet, on second thought, at least no harm has come to you. I'd like to thank you too, Idea. You saved me from having to search this entire dungeon. Aerie, do you think you could have carried this key around? You're so little after all. It does look really heavy. I'd rather not think about lugging that about. There's nothing to worry about now that I'm here. Well, I better lead the way. With your poor sense of direction on yes, who knows where we'd end up. Now hold on. My sense of direction has improved. At least somewhat. Isn't that simply a matter of having Aerie and Tiz lead the way? Well, that may be, but... <laughs> Don't take it so hard. Now, come on. Follow me! If you say so. Let's go find the rest. And Anya's during the party. Okay, and I need a heal. Um, I guess we'll just have to use some potions here. Because we currently do not have ring a bell with us. Chest. Light curtain. Mm, let's see, where are they held? Here's ring a bell. Okay, yeah, we just used the auto that we had. Now that we have Anya's with us, she can take care of all these guards pretty easily, so. Saver. You're quite welcome, but it was really nothing. After all, I was raised within Central Command's walls. I know every nook and cranny. Were you able to speak with your father? Huh? W what does it matter to you? You have family you can talk to. You ought to, you know. You would forgive my father? Grand Marshal of Eternian Forces. Head Counselor of the Council of Six. You've seen how much Agnes has suffered because of my father's orders. True enough, but... You need not worry about me. We need to focus on awakening the Earth Crystal. All right. Okay. Tis during the party? Wait, can I go inside of this one? Okay, nothing in that one. That leads upstairs. Where's Ring a Bell at? Okay, Anya's can take care of the guards. I don't have to worry too much about those. Oh, this one's a little stronger than the other one. A Dutchy Guardsman. Okay, well, there we go. Not too bad. Little party chat take that one in a second. There's ring a bell. Are you all right, ring a bell? Why wouldn't I be? I mean, I knew you'd come. All I had to do is sit back and wait. And well, here you are. I'm the luckiest man alive. You're my savior, my goddess. Let me thank you with a big kiss. 
Ring a bell? Are you coming or not? I can leave you here. Uh, of course. Let's go. Oh, come on, man. Ring a bell likes you. Give him a chance. Okay, looks like we got everyone in the party now. Let's go back around. Got a, got a party chat. Okay. Well, luckily we only have to fight one of these people at a time. Like I said, these guys are pretty... Pr they're pushovers, so... Not that hard to kill. There's one cell that I missed to check, so I'm gonna go back just to check this one. Okay, there's nothing in there. It's literally all I wanted to do. Oh, there's also a cell I missed over there, technically. I'm gonna do it just because I don't like missing things. Bam, there we go. There's nothing in there, but I had to get it on the map. If I didn't get it on the map, I'd feel bad, so... Alright, let's keep moving on. Right before we hit that staircase, we'll go ahead and do the party chat. Bang. Glad you're alright, Tiz. Thanks, I owe you one. Hey, Tiz. How do you feel about Agnes? Be honest. Where is this coming from? Never mind, it's, it's written on your face. My face? Hey, keep it down, would you? Don't worry, she can't hear us from here. And you can't keep hiding your feelings anyway. Well, tell her. Tell her you like her. What? No, I... I mean, the crystals come first. This is no time to be... Hey, I didn't mean right this second. Some time. When it's just you two. You tell her, take her hand and walk your path together, side by side. I mean it, Tiz. You're not going to find anyone else like her if you pass this up. Not ever. Look, would you please keep it down? Okay, and we got another party chat. <clears throat> Glad you're alright, ring a bell. Thank you, my dear, I owe you. And a gentleman always pays his debts. Debts to ladies, I repay tenfold. Aw, hey, oh, here it goes, it's always this. If you would ha have me do something else, milady, ask. All right then, Ringy Bell. How about you go out with me? Uh, er, uh, might I ask what provoked that? If you were my boyfriend, where would you take me? Where is tonight's date? Tonight, or er, uh, let me see. I I need time to prepare. All this time, and you never once stopped to think what would, what to do with me if I ever said yes. Well, you see, I'm only teasing you. You can dish it out, but you can't take it all. This is useful, useful information. You've been treating Tiz like a little brother this whole time. And every time you get the chance, you tease Piranhas. So, who do I tell this to first? Is neither an option? I vote neither. Then you owe me twice the hush money. Okay. I think everyone's healed and stuff, so we're good. Real quickly, <clears throat> let's check on the town. It's probably a terrible time to check on the town, but... Okay, so <clears throat> the the weapons are a lot of them got done. Let's go ahead and put that many on there. What else is not being worked on? This is max level now, right? 11's max level. Let's go ahead and put the rest of our people on here. That'll be another seven hour one. Okay, up the stairs we go. Move my cursor out of the way there. Okay, we've got some wolves. What are, what are wolves doing in the dungeon? Oh, also, I have no idea what my auto is at the moment, so ring a bell could be doing something crazy for all I know. I'll definitely probably take off that auto next battle, just so I could redo the auto to make sure everyone's kind of doing what I need them to be doing here. Light charm. Get okay, nothing on this end. Wait, two more? Yeah, I'll see, I'll see. I'll see. Nope. All while leveling up. Oh, one thing I didn't look into is Ringabell's job. I could switch him to a Spirit Master. Hmm. I might do that. Maybe we'll do that in a little while. Did I just go down this one path? I might be just dumb. Oh, wait. Also, why is Adia the first sort? I want Anyas to be up front. There we go. Not before another battle. Is this the right direction? I have a feeling this is the right direction. Yeah, so we'll we'll go back. Zeus's wrath. And you know what we'll even do, just so we can go back and not have to worry too much about this. Let's just go ahead and um put that to zero. 
and then let's do let's let's do a lap here. I really don't feel like fighting along this entire entrance, and um, we also have enough levels for now, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Nothing there. Let's go over here on this path. Okay. Have a dragon fang there. I don't think there's anything on that other route over there. Let's go over here. Another chest. X potion. Okay. Those are pretty good. Let's see if I take this one over here. I'm just basically following the map. Not even. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm just walking on the map. Okay. Now we can actually go to where we need to go. And let's go down here. And what about down here? There's a chest. Bacchus's wine. Okay. Now, if we can get through here, then hold on while I try this key. It won't. It won't open. Are you sure? Do we need a different key? I don't understand. I'd thought. <laughs> Little idea. In a bit of a bind. He heard his voice earlier. Who's there? Sage? Is that you? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I could ask you the same. As for me, I'm right where I belong. Right where you... Yes, indeed. You see, I'm a founding member of the council that preceded the Duchy of Eternia. And that would make me your enemy. I don't... understand. I've been sequestered in Yulyana Woods ever since that Templar Brave Lee seized power. But the fact remains, I still count among the members of the Council of Six. You were acquainted with my father? Then you must have known who I am! Why didn't you say so, you miserable old black? Ho 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 ho! I saw little need. Being that I was in seclusion and no longer attending the council. This cannot be. You are a, a trusted friend to us. A teacher-like figure who rendered aid. And to now hear you say you serve Eternia? The people who killed the Earth Vestal, the Fire Vestal, Olivia! I don't understand. Who are you, really? Who indeed? <sighs> I am but an outsider looking in. What do you want with us? An old friend has risen from a long slumber, so I came to see him. While I was here, I thought I would deliver a warning. A warning? Then you yet serve the Duchy's forces? And mean to stand against us? You are not entirely wrong there. This world is not so clean or pleasant as you may think. I suspect your journey this far has taught you as much. Malice is not the only enemy. The road to ruin is oft paved with good intentions. With action comes consequence. The joy of some may be the misery of others. To decide one way is to abandon the other. Knowing this, will you continue upon your chosen road? Nothing could stop me. You mean, us. Right, us. We've come so far together. Is that so? Well then. Have the courage to think and act on your own. That... those words... Have the courage to disobey. Well now, you do remember. Sage... Step back. Sage? 
stage? Know that ever shall I be watching over you. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're at Central Command. This looks like the other place. Yeah, oh, you were just back at the beginning here. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and save. And guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as a support to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.